Hello out there, fellow knife collectors and enthusiasts. Uh, I want to share the little show and tell of a knife that I just got. I actually bought it from a dealer this time. I sent it from this soft case, uh, knifeart.com. A little free advertising for them. You know, this isn't attached, it's just a little, uh, a little Velcro dealy. Um, I'll go ahead and pull it out of here. Show you what I got. Just act like I just got it. But I didn't. I've had it for a couple days. I got the drool all over it and uh, then cleaned it up so that you guys can get a look at it. Um, normally I buy from individuals or I trade into pieces, so it's unusual for me to buy from a dealer. But when I saw this, I almost fell out of my chair, as I've told lots of my friends. So, so I went for it. It's made by Warren Thomas. Bring that maker's mark up here. There's the WT. It's called the T-Rex. It's a medium-sized folder, or a larger folder for many. It has an anodized pattern, first thing that you notice. A very intricate, marbleized-looking pattern that he calls alien skin. And it's everywhere. It's on the clip. It's on the chain bolts that secure the knife. It's on the blade itself. So it's really beautiful. This won't do it justice. I mean, I, I did a, uh, I made a post on Usual Suspects Network and under the Warren Tom Thomas sub forum. So there's pictures of it there. If you want to get a better look, my lighting here sucks and doesn't do it any justice. Sorry about that. Okay, so. Another thing to look at, real noteworthy here, is the blade thickness and the handle thickness. The titanium slabs on this knife are incredible. To give you an idea how incredible, I mean, this is, the listing on a Raja is 4.8 millimeters for the blade. The cold steel Raja, sorry, for those who don't know. Bring out cold steel Raja here so you guys can check that out. This is a, a six inch bladed hard use folder that's capable of doing a lot of chopping. Just bring it right alongside this guy here. And you can see these are comparable. These are about the same thickness as far as their uh, the blades go. That's pretty incredible. This thing's heavy use. I mean if you wanted it for that. Now Warren Thomas he designs edged weapons. And there's no sugar coating of that. So these are great for cutting any medium, but they make exceptional self-defense knives that'll do a lot of damage to flesh. So let's move on here. We got a thumb ramp here that you could use to open it with. And that'll work with gloved, you know, hands, no problem. You get a little thumb oval here, works the same way. So either method is good for opening it slowly. The thumb oval you can use to open it faster, like a you know a thumb flick. Okay. Check out the lockup. It's an early lockup. There's no play in any direction. It's very secure. On our ground side, we've got an inward curving section with the primary grind and the secondary grind going up. To our point, it's a tanto point, a little bit more traditional tanto point, I should say, which I like. The knife is oriented in such a way that when you hold it in hammer grip or saber grip, the point is facing directly towards the medium that you want to thrust at or cut at, rather than having to tilt your wrist all the way as with a traditional knife to get that point completely aligned perfectly. You don't have to tilt your wrist as much. Uh, Lacey Zavo, I believe, came up with that concept originally with the Urban Utility Knife Series. and You know, so many people have used it now, it's almost cliche. But Warren Thomas' execution is most beautiful to me. But looking at the other side, on the other side is flat with the carbonized edge. Carbonized edge will cut many more times 
than a steel edge will without needing resharpening. It's self-sharpening, meaning if the titanium is worn away, more carbides are exposed. So, you know, it sharpens itself, essentially, until you need to have it recarbonized. And you can strop it, I've heard, and use ceramics, but I'm not thinking of all that. For me, this is going to be a little uh, backup tool, emergency weapon. Like I said, I'm into the defensive use of the knife and its applications in that role, so that's what it does for me. This is my beautiful custom Defender. And it's an awesome piece of that. So what else haven't I talked about? The blade, the blade is riding on uh, Nylatron washers. So it's pretty smooth. I mean, it's, it's stiff at first, but it's smoothed up a lot. And that's to be expected. I've had a couple other Warren Thomas folders, and they're all like that. So there it is. It's a nice piece. I enjoy it. Uh, if you're interested in a T-Rex, they're all a little different. Uh, I've never quite seen one like this before, so like I said, I almost fell out of my chair. I had to get it. wanted to share my joy with all of you, and hope I've accomplished that. Have a good one, fellow knife lovers.